We grew up in a small little town, and um, I had a really fun upbringing. <laughs> always, always having a good time. <laughs> I actually got my first job going to the elevator starter in the heart of the garment industry and actually said, do you know of any openings? And um, he gave me a lead. I went into my own business, um, designing my own collection and marketing it. And not long after that, um, QVC literally just kind of like knocked on my door. The buyer I'm working with right now, Debbie Leslie, is dynamite. We talk about our, our weekends, we care about each other and how, how we're feeling. Susan's great to work with. Um, she definitely has, you know, opinions on, you know, what she wants the brand to stand for. And I think we're, we're all aligned with that. You know, we are a lot of who this brand is. Sometimes the time that we take agonizing over a color of a bead or a color of a pearl that's just within a whole design of something, you would think we were probably pretty crazy. We were looking at, as a matter of fact, some of the, the leopard patterns, you know, should we go with a lighter ground or a darker ground? We're all such perfectionists and we all want the best for the brand. Um, you know, it is Susan and she is involved, but we all take it very personally and it's like our brand too, you know, so I think that's why you have all the passion and the time and effort that people, it is, it is a labor of love and, and passion for us. When I'm designing the collection, and Debbie and I kind of collaborate together. We kind of lay it out as far as showing, you know, styles and, and uh, paintings and kind of like clippings of fabrics. Our Susan Graver customer is a little bit more modern. You know, she's not dressing like her mother dressed. Um, and she likes to, you know, look nice. She likes to get compliments on things. It's it's pieces that we want to wear. That's that's the thing. Debbie and I, you know, are always thinking about, well, would you want to wear that? And is it going to be flattering? You know, together um, we we come out with um, with pieces that we think are just going to, you know, just do what everyone is looking for. Oh, Jane! I love Jane. That was fun meeting with Jane beforehand. She is such a doll. I mean, she's just like such a dynamo, and, and she's just a, a warm and generous person. I know she has two adorable daughters, so she tells me that uh, her daughters are also interested in the fashion industry. So we love chatting about her family. And she's just always so upbeat and so lively. Oh, Courtney is so adorable. Now, Courtney is kind of like new on QVC, and she does a lot of, you know, social media, and she's doing, you know, a lot on air, and she's just a dynamite person. I really um, enjoy her. Now, my pebbles, I have a, a, a puppy who is now uh, three months old, and we're going away to California, and we're like, oh, what are we going to do with pebbles? And Courtney grew up with a corgi. My dog is a corgi, and she was like, said, I want to watch, you know, she was so excited to watch pebbles. I'm so happy to be babysitting for my pebbles. I oh, my wait. goodness. I'm Fire outfit. Oh, you are? <laughs> and so now she's going to be babysitting for her. So I really am so happy to have her as a friend. You know, she, she's more to me than just, you know, a host on QVC. I consider her like, you know, a, a really good friend of the family. I'm trusting Courtney with my baby. That means I really do trust her and love her. Before every show, I work with a stylist. Um, to make sure that it really is nice truly piece. my vision. That would look really good. That's for Jackie. I love the shine of these. They're really holiday looking. I want to make sure that when the models come out, you know, they look head to toe the way, you know, I want them to look. Katya, she can even wear like a cute little skirt with this. I live in this kind of like sleepy town um, on the beach. Um, it's surrounded by water and it's just a total little kind of getaway for me. I'm totally relaxed when I'm here. And I love, you know, love getting into the, into the town because there's so many cute little nooks and crannies. There's cute little stores. There's some wonderful um, art studios. And there's also these little fashion boutique-y type of stores that has very, very interesting styling. And so I love going in there to just get inspired and um, surrounded by all the people that I love um, and it's just a really wonderful warm comfortable cozy little spot for me I've always been into painting ever since I was a little girl and some of these paintings I still have 
mom always you know, reminded me, I was very, very young when I uh, drew a picture of a little girl wearing an outfit. I must have been maybe, I don't know, four or five years old. She said, when you turn over the paper, I did the back of the outfit too. <laughs> A few of my paintings, we actually went to the mill and they uh, you know, cut the screens and printed fabric that was exactly uh, from my painting. Um, we did some screen printing, we did some printing on fabric. So a lot of the pieces that you see on air, you know, a lot of times they're inspired by my artwork. Um, I do a lot of florals, I do a lot of watercolors. And so it's just another way uh, for me is to relax is being creative um, through my artwork. I've been actually knitting since I was really young. I must have learned when I was maybe seven years old. <laughs> and um, and it's, it's, an, it's a passion of mine. This is a sweater that I have literally been working on. My husband will laugh because he's, he's seen it around for like, I would say the past four years. There's a lot of cabling and a lot of crossing and a lot of looping. Um, I love yarns, I love all the colors. This is just a really easy, basic little um, sweater that um, I, I did last year. And then just, you know, something really simple, but I just love the cable, you know, kind of stitching going down the front. And I love that I get something out of it, a piece of clothing, which is, I love sweaters. I'm just passionate about sweaters. <laughs> I get a really good sweater. Walking on the beach is, again, another thing. I, you know, I just, like, forget everything. Um, the water is just so soothing. Um, just, you know, just walking. You know, you thought sometimes I'm in, in a lot of thought when I'm walking, and sometimes I try to, you know, just let all the thoughts go away and just enjoy my surroundings. I'm Audrey Graver. I've been working with Susan Graver for about 26, 27 years. Audrey Graver, oh, she is a dynamo. Oh, my mother in law, she's fantastic, but she's also a really um, stylish, um, fantastic designer. I worked with Susan on the designs from the very beginning of 26 years ago. I designed the line with Susan. Um, she has a keen eye on fashion. She's totally energetic. And she started with me in, um, with QVC. She's been a daughter-in-law and a friend to me all these years. She's an amazing person and her um, you know, vision is, you know, I, I always, you know, look to her for her fashion direction. Michael's actually in my business and he's been a great asset. I'm Mike Raver, Susan's son, and I'm the social media director. I'm in charge of uh, Facebook and the digital media, everything that gets posted and the graphics and, and I'm in charge of um, all the different outlets. You know, it, it gives me a peace of mind just knowing that he's handling it and I totally trust his ability and his talents and I'm very lucky to have him in my life. In my spare time, I'm playing piano and guitar and um, playing with the dog. We all have dogs in the family. Um, mine is Da Vinci. He's, he's a great mutt and um, we adopted him about three months ago. He, loves pebbles very much. It's really cute to watch them play. Growing up, I, after school, I would always, we would have piano lessons. And a lot of the times I didn't want to do it. It wasn't cool anymore, so I, we would fight for hours and we would both end up crying, screaming at each other. And I would always end up having to take the lesson. But now I really appreciate going, going and going through all that and playing piano. Now I play piano all the time, every day. Ali is my um, future daughter-in-law, my son's fiance. She's the most incredible person. She's warm, she's generous, and she's one of the most talented people I've ever met. It's so nice how warm and welcoming the entire family has made me feel. Her artwork is absolutely incredible. I'm in awe of it. <laughs> I show it off all the time. I'm an artist. I actually met Mike in art school, so the entire family is very, very creative. She plays the piano that, yeah, I could cry listening to it. It's so beautiful. Susan is um, an artist as well. And, you know, it's just, she's very warm, very creative. It's just so wonderful getting to know her and her family and how um, she feels like QBC is part of her family. 
I love designing. I love the whole QVC, you know, studio and the whole, you know, on-air part about it. But what I really get moved about, I get very emotional about, is the connection I make with people through QVC. It's just absolutely incredible. I mean, you can connect with so many people, and the fact that it makes people happy. It's, to me, it's not even about the product. And I get, you could say I get choked up about it. It's not even about the product. It's about making people um, feel good about themselves. I could never have done any of this without the love and support of my husband. I mean, he's the one behind me who's always pushing me to go forward. Many times when I was like, I can't do this anymore, you know. You know, bringing up three kids, um, working full time, and um, yeah, he was always supportive and always there for me, and um, in not only in my business, in my life. My family, of course, comes first. They're the most important things in my life, and uh, that's what makes me is them. <laughs> um, and um, you know, the holidays is the time that we all get together. Um, that we can all, you know, sit down and just forget everything and just be ourselves. We eat, we, we, we laugh, we play lots of music, we sing, we dance. And so um, that's what I love about the holidays, that we all make a point, you know, to get together somehow, some way, you know, because that's what it's all about. <laughs>